I'm about to throw you one of the scariest verses in the Bible that's gonna mess your life up as it should. Listen to this text, Luke chapter 14, starting in verse 12. We're gonna put it up on the screen for you, which we always do, but I'm gonna ask the team to make this a little bigger. All right, some of you, you get your little spectacles, you can't really see the verse, so you carry on with your life and you don't do anything. I want this one to be big, right on the screen, so there's no excuses for anyone to see this. Cover up my face if you need to. Make it this big font if you need to. Here we go, Luke chapter 12, or, or chapter 14, verse 12. Then Jesus said to the man who had invited him, when you host a dinner or a banquet, do not invite your friends or brothers or relatives or rich neighbors. Otherwise, they may invite you in return and you will be repaid. But when you host a banquet, when you, when you have a dinner, when you put out all your energy into making sure that steak is legit, that chicken's just right, that salad's awesome, that salmon is cooked. When, when you do that, invite the poor, the, the crippled, the lame and the blind, and you will be blessed since they cannot repay you and you will be repaid at the resurrection of the righteous. Mike! Drop, done, go home. Thanksgiving just got messed up. Christmas dinner just got messed up. You're inviting the wrong people. Who are we spending our life on? Who are we spending our time and our energy on? Jesus just said, if all you do is have meals for friends, you're spending it on the wrong people because there's people out there who need you in their life and you're not even inviting them in because they're not the people who make us comfortable. So this week, lead, pray, step out, ask someone if they wanna actually know Jesus. Imagine you did that. Everyone who watched this, imagine you asked, you prayed and thought and you asked one person this week. Hey, what do you think about? Because here's, here's what she's doing. See what she, she said something. You wanna know why this is important? Underline the word said. Circle the word said. What, what does that have to do with anything? Because half of you think that if I just go cut the lawn of my neighbor and make them cookies, that by osmosis, they're gonna figure out how to come to know Jesus. They won't. They ain't gonna go, oh, look, he cuts my lawn. I must be made in the image of God, a sinner who fell. Uh, but Jesus Christ came as my substitute and died on the cross for my sin and rose again to give me life. And if I repent of sin and give my life to Jesus, I'm gonna be filled with the Holy Spirit. They're, uh, uh, hey, thanks for the lawn cut. Free service, moving on. Of course, we love and serve in word and deed. My fear is most of us are, uh, us are just doing it in deed. We're not saying we're not articulating the gospel to people and saying, do you, do you actually wanna give your life to Christ? 